Okay, so let's try this once again. Um, I'm doing this video to show you the failure of a Corsair SSD disk. <coughs> it's the F120, 820 gigs disk. It's pretty new. Came out last year, but this this disk here is new. And uh, the problem is that the disk disappears randomly from the BIOS. And right now I've had the computer shut off for uh, some time and now it's um, apparently here again. So let's see here. I only have this disk to boot from since it's laptop. It's a brand new Asus U31JG. Bought just two weeks ago. Um, so I wanted to install this SSD disk in drive instead of uh, the Seagate 5400 RPM disk which is really really slow. So what I want to do is put in this USB disk um, and install Windows 7 from this one. And the problem is that the Corsair drive disappears when I do this. So I take the save changes and I shut the computer off just to be able to put the USB disk in I'm gonna put this one in like that okay so now let's see what happens and first of all let's see if I can get into the BIOS which could be a bit tricky sometimes yes I managed to do that okay so the SSD is still there quite randomly. This never happened before. Anyway, I don't want to boot from the disk since it's half empty. Um, so I'm just gonna restart this one. I say half empty because I actually managed to start up with uh, Windows 7. I formatted the disk and I installed Windows 7 like halfway through and then it just said that the installation sources are not available um, check that they're plugged in and try again and after that the disk um, disappeared in, uh, in BIOS and everywhere so as you saw just a few seconds ago we had the SSD disk available in BIOS and now we're booting Windows 7 installer from this USB let's see what happens this is in Swedish, but it's starting Windows. Um, just wait a few seconds. And one thing worth noticing is that the third um, lamp here does not blink or do anything. And that's the, the hard drive lamp. It does when you power up the computer for a few seconds but then it dies so now let's see here if we can next install now initiating the program so we could see the disk in BIOS just a few seconds ago now we're launching the installer to see if we can install Windows 7 but as I've done this hundred times now different ways, tried everything, um, it's not working. Except this one. Um, and here we're supposed to see the disk. We're supposed to see it here to format it and yeah, install Windows. But it's not there. So what I want to do now is turn the computer off again. And then I'm going to turn it on. I'll just remove this disk here and see what happens. See if we can find the, the SSD disk again or if it's disappeared as it as it used to do. Okay, boot manager is missing. Yes, natural. You see if the lamp 
flashes. Yes, it did. Just a few seconds. Ah, uh, come on. Get into BIOS. And sometimes it stopped like this for like 10 So I ran out of memory card. Uh, I managed to boot into the BIOS here. And now, see, I removed the USB disk and the Corsair disk magically disappeared. We couldn't see it in the Windows installer and we can't see it in BIOS now. So, officially, I have no disk installed. So I'm going to save the changes here. No, let's see. Let's restore defaults. See what happens. Save changes and exit. And let's see what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Something's not right. Hard drive lamp does not. Okay, it starts the BIOS automatically, which means that there is nothing, nothing uh, to boot from. So the disk is now disappeared, and what I'm going to do now is turn the computer off. I'm going to keep it off for a couple of minutes, and hopefully it will be back. Um, and this is the procedure procedure that I've uh, repeated now a hundred times. So this is what happens disappears, comes back after powering off, um, tries, I try to install something or I put in a USB disk and it disappears again. So let's see. Hmm. Wait a bit more because I want to catch, uh, catch all of this on one clip so you know that I'm not faking anything. Let's see if I can boot it up now. Bias. Okay. And! Yes. It's there again. The disk is there. And let's do like this. Say changes and exit. Now I'm going to put the USB bis disk back in. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, I ran out of memory in my camera here. Uh, so once again, we booted up. The disk was found in BIOS. We booted up using the USB, just inserted it. And now let's see if we can install Windows on the SSD disk that was just found. And the thing is that this this LED here uh, it stops stops flickering uh, once the USB is is inserted and the system is booting from the USB. And once again, the disk is not there. So conclusions. Um, I've now read a lot about this disc and it seems that a lot of people are having the same problem and I mean Corsair take care of your customers and send us new discs or come with some firmware updates or something because this is not acceptable um, and they're quite expensive too so this this sucks okay uh, so if anyone, anybody has any questions regarding this, uh, feel free to do so. And also, I tried the disk in this, in this uh, computer here. Uh, and the same issue there. It's visible sometimes. Then you boot up to start uh, with USB disk, and then it's, it disappears. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks.